In many parts of the world, music is one of the many important heritages handed down from one generation to another. Each country has its unique beats and sounds, representing the beauty of its own culture and identity. In Brunei Darussalam, the traditional music is still popular despite the existence of the modern ones. On this program, Colors of ASEAN 2 from Brunei Darussalam, we proudly feature Gulintangan. Tangan is one of the most widely played traditional instruments in Brunei. It consists of eight gongs of various sizes put into wooden boxes that are then arranged in a wooden boat-like structure. Historically, the guling tangan used to be an exclusive music for the aristocrats, performed in palace ceremonies and played by selected musicians. It was not until the 14th century that it finally became the music of the general public. The real occasion when it is played varies. To the seasonal ceremony such as the Makan Tahun or the annual harvest festival, the melodious sound of Guling Tangan is often associated with nobility and happiness. It also symbolizes heroism thus played as an accompaniment when a Malay martial art known as Silat is demonstrated. Today in Brunei, the Guling Tangan is usually combined with four basic instruments known as Tawa Tawa, Gendang Labik, Chanang and Gong. This results in very rich and harmonious sound. Together, these five instruments are known as the Guling Tangan Orchestra. Nevertheless, the number of instruments used in the orchestra differ from one indigenous group to another. Orchestra. Its role is so important that without its melody, the orchestra will not sound as pleasant. The Kulintangan must also be positioned at the end of the player's leg. The eight small gongs are put inside the wooden boat structure known as langkungan. Normally, langkungan can measure up to a meter or two meters long. The small gongs can differ in thickness and size and are arranged in order, starting from the lowest notes to the highest ones. Of course, the art of playing guling tangan requires focus, persistence, as well as passion.
The next instrument is the gong. The gong acts as an accompaniment to the rest of the melody. Tawa tawa played together with guling tangan functions like a bass, acts like a filler that makes the overall melody enjoyable to listen to. Another additional instrument played with guling tangan is known as chanang. Although chanang is not an important part of the orchestra, in some songs it complements the existing melody. The importance of gendang labik is similar to that of guling tangan. Apart from increasing the dynamic of the songs, it is also beaten to indicate the end of a traditional game or to mark the end of a song. Decades ago, there were concerns that the Guling Tangan melody will become extinct due to its limited range of notes. In 1971, with the support of the government and the Guling Tangan players, more pieces of gongs with various notes were introduced. Under the Ministry of Education, more than 15 schools have included Guling Tangan in their extracurricular programs. Students in secondary schools find it easier to access the instruments and learn more about them. They also get the opportunity to perform in school events and participate in inter-schools competitions organized annually by the Ministry. Thank you. 